here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to day 30 of Christie's Beautiful Life at 30 Days of Sketches. Can you believe it? One more day after today. Crazy. So I'm going to do in this photo. <clears throat> I did go through the majority of these are just all like scenery type pictures and stuff. So I'm actually just going to put those in a photo album. Um, because I don't really want to scrap them. You don't have to scrap all the photos, you guys. I scrapped a lot from this little adventure. I do still have you know, two more. Like I have these, these are all the vacation photos I have from our 2022 big vacation. So I'm going to go through these, put all of the ones that are like, you know, duplicates and just the same, like over and over. Um, I will be keeping some of them to scrap, but I just kind of wanted to let you guys know about that. Um, so we're going to do this one photo. This is <laughs> so cute. We are at the Mount Vernon, which is the home of our first president, George Washington, here in the United States. I grabbed a whole bunch of stuff because this is a new collection that I'm working with, but it is an Echo Park collection or Cartabella. Which one is it? Cartabella. I only have the sticker sheet. That's all I have. So I pulled in some added embellishments. So I have all of these fun little word stickers, um, cute little whatever. I don't know if any of these are going to work, but I've got to try to get this used up. So this is the um, Hip Kit Flourish, the Hip Kit Wild and Free, the Hip Kit The Good Life, um, the Hip Kit Together is Best Ephemera. I've got the Kane Company tags, and if I can use any of those, uh, glassy bag. I've pulled in, this is an old Stampin' Up. It was supposed to like create a banner type thing, not real sure. But I have these little canvas pieces that I'm going to see what I can do with. Vicky Booten Storyteller, the little sticker books, and then this entire container full of travel and summer type uh, ephemera. And then here's the collection that I'm going to work towards using up. Um, I did really good at finishing off the park new day collection and this is what is going to replace this in my bins so i've got some scraps here and it, this is a botanical garden so here's the sticker sheet some scraps and then just all these really fun papers so that is what we're going to work with i'm going to pull out my circle cutter my big old circle cutter because one big circle and then try to see what we can use. I need to die cut maybe some florals or something like that. So let me get that all put together and I'll be right back. All right. So here's day 30. I did go ahead and fussy cut out a whole bunch of flowers. This collection has several pages that we can just fussy cut away on, which I like to get these big flowers. I only used two pieces outside of this collection and no stickers at all. I took um, my favorite gold Pilot G2 gel pen and was able to do the, I did the circles and how I do the circles. Is I just take my, I've had this thing cut for since December and I've been using it for almost everything. I just take it, I do the circle and then I move it, do the circle again and then I move it to get the sketchy circle line. The only thing that I'm going to add is I have a whole bunch of random stuff sitting to the side of me. And this little bitty, there's some tape and some embellishments and ephemera, like actual for my little junk journal that I do. Um, in here, just things that I can grab. And I have this picture of my life from close to my heart and some cards and stuff, but I did have the melon dots. And I feel like... I went through all my random sheets here. You guys see this? This is how I used to store uh, Mercy Tierra. I had did this a long time ago, and I loved it. It doesn't work for me, so I'm trying to use all that up. I used to have like something like this was filled, and these are all the sheets that I had left. 
because there's no more dots pretty much. I think it's all kinds of random gems and mostly purples. But anyway, I've got these stuck in there and I feel like those match. So we are going to pop these around. Kind of add a little oh, to the page. And then you have the little gold peeking all around. And things are popped up on some foam. Just kind of finish it off a little bit. Trying to make sure. I'm putting quite a bit on here, aren't I? But that's okay. And that is a good. So I am going to focus weekly. So basically, I kind of craft only on the weekends. Um, the only time I really have time. So each weekend, I'm going to start focusing on using a tool, so stay tuned, so you'll see like a week's worth of layouts that are all focusing on using a tool or something, because I have so many fun tools that I don't use, so let me know if you guys are going to be interested in seeing that, <laughs> excuse me, um, the only thing I need to do, is I did run these off the page here, you know, I love running things off the page, you can see that I did gut that as well, And since florals, I believe, are the next How to Kill a Kit, you will definitely see this kit. I'm going to pull a whole bunch of stuff together to kind of use up some cool stuff. So, fun, fun. So this is done. I did ink all the edges of these papers down here, just so they would all pop out because they're pretty much all the same color. But this collection, huge dent in it with just this one layout. It was fun, fabulous, and I love it. I cannot wait. I did get something new in. I ordered some triangle dies uh, just off of Amazon, nothing special. And I'm going to start making some triangle layouts. I'm going to bring like this. I think dies is going to be the first thing that I focus on. Yes. So I'm going to bring my die container over and that's probably how I will start all my videos off is showing you guys that you'll get very tired of it. <laughs> so that being said, thank you so much for hanging out. Don't forget to check everyone else out that's playing along one more day and round 11 is in the books and we move to April. So I will see you guys later with another video. Bye.